Ninja Babes is ending. <sighs> Let me explain. So yeah, new year, new plans, right? <laughs> 2022, here we come. Uh, this is the end of Ninja Babes. I will explain the whole thing. So if you're listening to this, you've probably been a part of the Ninja Babes community, maybe since the beginning, since uh, fall 2017. I've been so honored and so grateful to be a part of this community for years. It's been over four years. That's crazy. Um, but here we are. Uh, so I know this is like shocking. This isn't like a publicity stunt. Uh, Ninja Babes is actually going to close. Um, where do I start? <laughs> Ninja Babes has been a passion project. It's been my baby. It's been the thing that I'm so passionate and excited about for all these years. Ninja Babes has been a life-changing experience and community and something that I completely poured my heart into 100%. If you're listening, you probably know that. Uh, but everything has a beginning, a middle, and an ends, to quote a and Nation, who, oddly enough, also just posted this week that a and Nation as a, as a website is closing. So yeah, big changes for 2022, right? I want to say thank you. I want to leave you with my like last words of Ninja Babes. I, I have so much in my mind and on my heart that I want to share. So I'll try to keep it brief and not ramble, but um, yeah, I mean, this community has meant so much to me and I, I built this community with so many of you as a way to, to support our girls, our women, our community as a way to inspire and teach. And I think I've done that. Um, this is hard. This video is harder to make than I thought it would be. Um, it's This is episode 120 of the Ninja Babes podcast. This is going to be kind of a the end video, but I also just want to leave you with a reflection. The reason why Ninja Babes started in the first place was because I, I became a part of the Ninja Warrior community. Many of you know this origin story, but I was so moved and inspired by the community at large, but specifically the other girls I trained with at the gym at Movement Lab in Gainesport, New Jersey, and was just so changed by the way that these other girls encouraged me, accepted me as their own, and really were pushing me to, to overcome fears, to battle obstacles, and to grow in myself as a, as a human. And you know, our common bond was ninja. And just how, how life-changing that community is, is what spurred me on. And um, my personal story really starting Ninja Babes is that I was so entrenched in this community and entrenched in ninja and in competing. And I went through a breakup, a ninja breakup. And I had to decide for myself when that happened, like, Am I in Ninja just because I was dating this person? Or am I a part of this Ninja community for something more, for something bigger than that? And I was like, I'm in this because I've seen how these people and this experience has changed my life. And I want to continue to support and fuel the Ninja Babes community at large, like the other women and girls who are part of this community. And that experience that summer 2017 really fueled me to go ahead and start the Ninja Babes podcast. I started at Ultimate Backyard Warrior that fall with the first interviews with Jesse Graf, uh, Maggie Thorne, and others, and it just kept snowballing. I created the first t-shirts with Chelsea Cronin, and she helped me kind of design the, the first tank tops and then sold the first batch at Ultimate Backyard Warrior, and really since then it just snowballed. I saw how Ninja helped me to overcome fear, to push past my own limitations, what I thought was impossible, and to move forward and to grow into a brave, strong, unstoppable person. And I wanted to spread that 
with the rest of the world, but also I saw all of these women's stories and how how incredible everyone is and, and how much you can learn from each other and, and how much we can be inspired by one another. And so that's really what pushed me to start the Ninja Babes podcast was wanting to meet as many of you as possible, but also wanting to get out everyone's stories and the wealth of wisdom that everyone else in this community has and be able to share that with the female community. So that fall of 2017, I embarked on a mission. It grew from just a podcast to an LLC. I was able to get sponsorships for the podcast. I was able to sell merchandise. I started um, hosting workshops online and in person. And Ninja Babes grew as a business as well. And that whole business side of Ninja Babes was honestly just so that I can fuel the podcast. And because I was putting so many hours into doing interviews, producing the podcast, building the website, creating merchandise, all of these things. Um, yeah, I wanted Ninja Babes to be a business so that I could be able to sustain myself as I created all this content and built this community. So fast forward, all of those, you know, the podcast, every part of Ninja Babes has grown over the past four plus years. Um, and it's been so cool. <laughs> and as we continue to grow, you know, I had those growing pains of, I can't sustain this forever. Um, Ninja Babes as a business, especially once COVID hit, was challenging to sustain. Um, that's when Patreon started. And so shout out to everyone who's been a part of Patreon. You are amazing. If you've been a part of the Patreon community, thank you. Um, it's that group of people that helped sustain Ninja Babes for as long as it's been. Um, and others who've donated their time or their efforts. There are so many people who have volunteered in different ways over the years, and I appreciate everyone so much. Like, side note, I started to list out every single person I personally wanted to thank in this video, and when the list grew to 156 people, I was like, mm, I don't know that I can shout out everyone in this video. So I'm not going to shout out everyone, but I did specifically want to shout out a couple people who have been there since the beginning or who have just um, donated or worked for Ninja Babes in some capacity. Um, <laughs> and so first off, Sarah Keegan, you know who you are. Uh, Sarah Keegan has been my podcast editor for, I'd say, the last year and a half. Um, she's also been building my website and helping with all the website changes and everything that's ever happened with the website in the past year plus. Um, thank you, Sarah. You've kept me organized. You've kept me on task and I appreciate you so much. Then there's been Shell Edge. There's been several people who've been in part of social media management and creation on Ninja Babes. Shell Edge has been the most recent Ninja Babe to a part of this. Before Shell was Sarah Lynn Salisbury Jones and both of you have done incredible work on the Ninja Babe social media platform. Um, and I appreciate your creativity, your connection with the community, and how much heart and effort both of you put into Ninja Babes. And I just wanted to say thank you. Um, Sarah Lynn specifically was a part of the vision of Ninja Babes right from the beginning, right from when I had the idea that summer and really pushed into it. And Sarah Lynn has always given me so much encouragement and I just appreciate it so much. So again, thank you. Thank you, Alex Katz, who's also been a part of that weekend and always had so much um, wisdom and guidance and encouragement for me. There's so many people I want to just call out by name. Um, Marie Young, who's been, who was an intern for me for a number of months and also spearheaded the Ninja Babes teen episodes, which were so special and so fun. Maria Rella, who also has been a podcast editor in the past. Um, she did some of the first videos that came up on YouTube and then also did a lot of podcast editing for months and months, close to a year. So again, Maria, I appreciate you so much. Um, there's so many people who've been a part of this community in a working sense or in a volunteer sense. Um, Janelle Copa has also written numerous podcast blogs up on the website. Um, everyone who's been a part of the Patreon has volunteered in some capacity. And again, I can't spend forever going through everyone's names, but special shout out to Miriam McKinzik, 
She donated a lot of her time um, to be a model for Ninja Babes up on the website, and I appreciate that so much. Just to give a quick shout out to the other Patreon members who've been so faithful and so good. Some of you are current and some of you have been Patreon members in the past. So I'm just going to read through the names because I appreciate you. Kyle Mack, Rachel Stangy, Jules McPherson, Taylor Murray, Bob, the people at Athlete Blood Test, Mandy Earlham, Mary McKinzick, Eleonora Goetz, I'm sorry if I butchered that last name, Megan Johnson, Kendra Narkinen, Courtney Venuti, Miriam Linnea Hale, and Abby Marazzo. So I go through those names again because so many of you have volunteered in some way, shape, or form, and thank you. Um, for those of you who volunteered at NNL Regionals or Worlds ever, for the 115 of you who've been on the Ninja Babes podcast as an interviewee, seriously, all of your stories are out there. It's just incredible. Again, like my mind is swimming because I literally wrote down 156 people that I could thank right now. Um, I'm definitely going to be sending out some personal emails. Um, the people at Monstro Holds, Eric Totten and Lucio Batista. People like you who've been there for Ninja Babes since the very beginning through sponsorship, through partnership and support. Like, I know there's people out there who believe in this community and who've always believed in this community. So thank you. I also want to give a huge shout out to Christy Cook, who has been our logo designer from Ninja Babes, the classic burst logo and so many other designs for merchandise were made by Christy Cook. So thank you. I appreciate you so much. I have my notes here because there's a lot to think about in this video. Okay, so if you're still wondering, like, why is Ninja Babes ending? Um, I have given four plus years of my life to Ninja Babes. Um, it's been a lot of time. It's been a lot of effort, a lot of my own personal funds, um, and a lot of my creativity. And I realize I've come to a place where as much as it feels sad to kind of move on, I, I'm ready to move on. I'm ready to give up, you know, the reins to anyone else who wants to step up and support the women's community in a huge way. Um, but I started to feel very sapped of time and resources and energy and creativity and there's a lot of work that goes into Ninja Babes on a, a weekly basis, a regular basis, a daily basis for that matter, um, to keep it all going. And I've I've had people who've worked for Ninja Babes um, in the past, and I have appreciated everyone's support and efforts and, and work so much. Um, but Ninja Babes has, has had its end point. Um, I am not going to stop being a part of the ninja community not at all but as far as creating regular content and uh, maintaining ninja babes as an llc that will no longer be happening so the business of ninja babes will be closing down um that being said if you still want merch um it's up on the website still i am doing a big blowout sale um because in the next few weeks um it might not be there anymore <laughs> Um, you will see in the next few weeks, uh, the regular Ninja Babes website will be changing over to a more simplified version where Sarah's helping me change platforms. We're doing a lot to change, um, from the back end, the internal side. Um, so you will notice a lot of changes. The web, the podcast will still live online. So you'll still be able to access all of the podcast episodes at this point indefinitely. So the YouTube channel, everything is still going to be there. Um, but there will not be any more regular current, you know, regular episodes of Ninja Babes coming out new. That being said, I know that there are some of you who currently have wanted to do an episode with me about a certain topic, and I'm not opposed to recording more. I just will not be putting it on my own platform of Ninja Babes. I will be building a Kara Mac YouTube channel that will be a purely personal channel where I can post and create some of my own art. Um, I actually have a lot of poetry and personal stories that I, the world doesn't know about because um, all of my time has gone to Ninja Babes. Um, so I, I would like to be able to build some of my own personal art and creativity there. 
um, and have an outlet that I can still have some of these conversations about the Ninja Warrior community um, with other people out there. Um, but I don't want to limit myself to just the platform of Ninja Babes. And at the same time, I've felt like my time with Ninja Babes is done. Um, so I will be creating content on the Karamak YouTube channel, but it's not going to be like regular content like you've been seeing from Ninja Babes. If anyone has questions for me, I'd love to answer them. Yeah, there's just been so many people who have been a part of this community and this effort. Um, also, Mary Leighton, thank you for allowing me to bounce a million ideas off your head, for being a part of so many conversations on the Ninja Babes podcast, and for your passion for the Ninja community. Um, as many of you know, Mary Layton and I made that presentation at NNL Worlds speaking about uh, females in the sport of ninja and considerations for course changes or not making course changes or just opening up that can of worms, that big old discussion about, you know, should there be changes made moving forward for our sport? Are we doing things the best way that we can? Are there differences between males and females competing on the course? All these things. That's a whole nother conversation. Um, hopefully, if you haven't watched that presentation, you can watch it right now. But uh, once I gave that presentation with Mary, it really did feel kind of like a capstone project, like a senior year, like this is everything, like ending project. And once I, I got that out um, last June, July, I really felt like satisfied. I felt done in a way. Um, not, not to say like done with the Ninja Warrior community, but like everything I ever wanted to say and put out there was out there. And um, that was a big deal to express that whole presentation. We put a lot of hard work and, and research into it. Um, but it, as you know, if you've watched it, that presentation pulled from so many interviews that Mary and I, or that just Ninja Babes had produced over the years. And so now it's like thinking moving forward, of course, I still want to be a part of these conversations. I do not want anyone to hesitate reaching out to me if they want to do an interview or talk about these types of things. But that being said, I feel like my contribution through Ninja Babes is done. But I'd like to have a place for more conversations like that on my personal channel where I can speak freely from my own personal opinion. Um, so whether that's ninja related or my own art, all these things, I'd like to be able to express that there. So you might be thinking like, okay, where do we go from here? <laughs> I've never wanted Ninja Babes to be just about me. And that might be a surprise to some of you. <laughs> I didn't go out trying to just call myself the Ninja Babe and be like, look at this great thing that I've done. I've always from day one wanted Ninja Babes, plural, to be a community effort. And there's been so many things that I would have loved to see Ninja Babes as a community accomplish or start or do that was never able to be done. Ninja Babes Insiders, for example, um, I had really wanted to help create this online community that was all about people helping to train one another, helping to give one another obstacle tips and all these things online. And it wasn't going to happen just on my own effort. Um, there's so many ways that I want this community to continue to step up and to continue to support one another in a real way. And, you know, for example, I have seen since the inception of Ninja Babes, several women who have been on the Ninja Babes podcast or have been avid listeners of the podcast start their own women's like Ninja Babes group at their gym. And so there are several groups that are meeting at their own gyms. They have female-only classes that are really catered toward building that community and helping specifically meet women where they're at as they start their ninja journey. To me, that is huge. That is legacy, and I think that is amazing. But I am so proud and so inspired by these women who have started groups at their own gym. I would love to hear other people's endeavors and maybe what Ninja Babes has inspired you to do in your own community. Because again, it's not about me. If this podcast and this community that I've helped create stops and then everyone else stops trying to support the females in their community, then I would feel like this was a big flop. But I don't think that's going to happen. 
I think that my specific efforts with Ninja Babes is closing, but that does not mean that the camaraderie and the love and the friendship that is a part of what we know is Ninja Babes on a larger scale, that is not ending. I cannot wait to hear how those of you who've been inspired by this message in this community, bring that to your own gym, to your own space. And whether it's creating a girls group there or just being a great friend and continuing to inspire the girls around you, I want to hear those stories. I want to know that people are bringing this to their own space because it's not about me. It's never been meant to be just about me. It's been meant to be this collaborative effort, this inspiring community that gets the ball rolling and that, yes, you get inspired by what you hear me talk about with someone on the podcast, but that you take it so much more than that and you take it to your own homes, communities, schools, and spaces. You are what makes Ninja Babes awesome. You all are what has always made Ninja Babes an incredible community. Keep living out that Ninja Babes spirit. This community still lives on because of who all of you are. So yes, I feel that my part in this way is finished. But who knows what the future holds? Like I said, I'm not going anywhere. I am still part of the Ninja Warrior community for sure. But everything I've learned from the podcast interviews, from all of you, from your DMs, from your emails, from every conversation I've ever had has impacted me so deeply. And I know that I take all of that wisdom and all of your stories with me and everything that I do. So thank you for making the past four years incredible. Thank you for being a part of this movement. Thank you for just loving me and accepting me and encouraging me onward. Thank you for being a part of this community. But it does not stop here. Go be a ninja babe. Be strong. Be you. Be a ninja babe.